Hey, what's up? YouTube Olson Bro here with another review, and I do have a guest with me again. We're recording a series of fidget spinners today. I have my son Cade with me, 14 years old, smaller hands than mine. Go ahead and show everybody, show the world. And so he'll have a different perspective than I do, and he has a different taste as well. So as far as fidget, as far as fidget spinners go, this one is from who, Cade? Thamo's House. Thamo Best, I believe is what they're called. Demo house? We'll, we'll put a link in the description where you can check it out. All right? This one's pretty slick, though. Check that thing out, man. What do you think of that? That's pretty. Pretty nice, right? It's quiet. Yeah. It's quiet. It's got a good heft to it. It's got a good weight to it. Oh, I like that. Well, I like that. That's, that's a good one right there. What do you think? It's pretty heavy. I wish these were just a little longer because right now I'm like hitting the middle of it instead of the edges. It's harder to kind of fling. It's harder to fling? Yeah, because I'm hitting the middle instead of the outside. If these were a little longer and the middle was a little smaller, it would have been a lot easier to flick. And that's just for my hands, but huh. most people. Yeah. yeah. Well, this one, they, they say it's brass. They also mentioned copper. They say it's 100% brass copper. Which... 100% not 100%. Yeah, I don't know what the heck that means. Brass and copper are so similar. I guess they're made of some of the same. I do it. I'm not smart enough for that. But brass and copper, look it up, you guys. They're very similar. I guess we're just missing. I guess copper is brass or brass is copper or something like that. Anyway, the uh, bearing in this thing is a hybrid ceramic stainless steel bearing. And they say it'll spin from four to six minutes. There it is inside there. We'll do a little close up. You can spin it without the caps on. Yeah, it's quiet. It's really quiet. I like this one, man. I like the hybrid bearings because they're just like matte black and um, they look cooler than a lot of the other ones. Yeah? Yeah. Well, normally you don't see them anyway, right? Don't you keep the caps on usually? Yeah. This was on Amazon for $25.99. I think they're, they're available from different sellers, so you might be able to find a deal on them. Again, I don't know if they're all made the same, this particular style. This is probably a knockoff of somebody else's. I'm not sure on that either. But I like this one. We'll do a spin time right now and see how long this thing spins for. There you have it, just shy of five minutes. This thing spins about five minutes long, and you saw how hard I, I spun it there. I bet you if we broke it in and I spun it, spun it even better, like that was probably a better spin right there. That spins for quite a long time. And as you can see, you can take this bearing out, and if you needed to, you could throw another bearing in there. Um, the weird thing about this one, if you can see in the close-up, is there's no tool to take this bearing, um, uh, I don't know, retainer. There's a little retainer here. You probably wouldn't even know it comes off. I only knew it came off because it accidentally started rattling when I was doing the time test. And then I think I got it tightened up there pretty good. But there's no notches in it to remove it. It just kind of, uh, I don't know. There, I got it to come off now. You know, normally there's a little tool to get this to come off. Yeah, that's weird. And so now you can pop out the bearing just like that. Yeah, but there's no notch and no tool to take this off. You just kind of have to use your finger to, to grip it. Interesting, right? But man, a good chunk of metal, dude. I like this thing. Yeah. So what, what would you rank this one? One out of ten. I would go like a two. Just because... What? Like for my hands. A two? You give the other one a five? You give this one a two? I give the other one a four. Oh my goodness. It's just because this one is super hard for me to spin. So? I wouldn't spin this. It's, it's not enjoyable to spin. I got that makes sense. Too heavy for you. No. And, and it's the not size. that. It's just like 
the size of how long it is. That's. But do you like the heavy ones, or is that something? I like heavy it? ones. I just wish this was a different kind of design. This design huh. being how like I don't know. It's it's small, but the sides are a little too small, and like I'm hitting just the middle and not the sides, so it's not getting a good spin. And I I wouldn't like enjoy spinning this very well. Me on the other hand, I really like this one. I think it's all right. It's not, you know, when I when I grab it, it's when I spin it, you know, you can feel the ridges on here a little bit, and that might start to wear on your finger, depending on how often you do it. So it's not the the, the softest spin. Like you feel those edges a little bit. Um, other than that, though, I like the weight of it. I like how it spins, and I like the way it looks. So I probably take it into consideration the way it feels when I spin it. I probably give this one a seven. So there you have it. I'll put a link in the description below where you can check it out for yourself. Any comments, questions, put it in the comments section. And as always, please like, subscribe. Oh, and share. Thanks, man.